announcement time. Right now it's about to be 2 a.m. and I have realized that I'm not hardworking enough. Um, Natalie, uh, since two days ago, had already been doing two past papers, what a day. And that's not even considered hardworking. Okay, we have people like Kingsley and Leo and Olivia still grinding. And I'm pretty sure that everyone else are grinding harder than me. And um, I am super, super duper fucking mother, father, brother, just behind the curve right now. And I'm angry, to be honest. So, here's the thing. I already... I already have my YouTube upload schedule for the rest of the month and the first two weeks of April. Now I'm considering to cancel them. Just just cancel them. Because I need to dedicate more time to revising. I'm also going to um, force myself to sleep less. I guess sleep for six, seven hours a day instead of eight and nine so that I can give myself more time. I will also consider eating less, if that helps my revision. I will do anything, including hurting my physical and mental health in order to get good grades. And I am like, fuck myself, jeez. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's, there is, there are only 30 days left, one month, one month, and I have to turn myself into Nikolai fucking Tesla. And of course, it's not to say that in the past 38 days, I haven't done anything. I have done a few maths, a few physics, a few chemistry, a, a bit of this, a bit of that. Not really all that much in terms of Chinese liberal studies or English, which are things that I should also be working on. Um, so I guess I'll do some LS today. I'll check out some points, write some notes, do some whatevers, and um, hopefully I'll make progress. And I'll keep on doing past papers, because um, 15 days ago, I've been doing past papers, just not as frequently enough. I've done 2012 physics, 2012 chemistry, uh, 2012 and 2013 biology. I need to do more physics, but I also have the physics solar and the chemistry MCs, which I'm going to indulge my brains into later. Um, actually, right now, why the fuck not? So yeah, 30 days and I'm, I'm Tesla. 30 days and I'm Einstein. 30 days and I'm Mary fucking Curry. Okay, uh, no hesitation. No tolerance for myself, no procrastination, no relaxation. It's going to be pure self-inflicted torture here. And it's not going to be enjoyable, but it's all for the better. You know, all for that one stupid ass number. So, um, chemistry, I've done math today. Chemistry, physics, and to wrap up today, LS. And then tomorrow, 29 days left. That's my plan. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. Kill my... All right. I'm not panicking right now. I don't know why I should be. Anyways, this is the chemistry paper two. Fuck me. I should be panicking right now. I should be having a, uh, an anxiety attack right now. But I'm not. I don't know what's going on. Um, a little stress might help. I don't know. Should I take drugs? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, chemistry. This is chemistry 2019 past paper. This is useful. I'm going to do it soon. And then we have this. I paid like $150 for this, I think. Now, we have a big stack of all just chemistry stuff by topic. So, this is pretty cool, right? This is pretty cool by topic. So, we got all the topics and it's all past papers. This is pretty useful. Yeah, this is, this is pretty dang useful. Um, and then we got this, which I don't know what is this, but I also paid for this, so uh, I should know what the hell is this. Um, oh, paper two. So th these are the electives, industrial analytical. Of course, nobody's going to choose material because it's dumb. And we also got paper one by topic, but it's part two. So I'm going to do part one first, you know, sort of iron my knowledge out. 
flatten it out with a hammer and then I'm gonna do some elective soon because I have been ignoring and neglecting and just not attending to my electives knowledge and I really need to do that in order to explain 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 expand ex expand my brain in all fucking motherfucking directions I'm going in the meantime, I'm also going to download this app called the Google Tree, where um, this tree grows if you don't check your phone. And I'm going to do that because I always check my phone because I have a terrible addiction illness. And it's going to completely fry up all the gray matters in my cerebrum, cerebellum, and medulla oblongata, respectively. And I'm going to die with my body fermenting in the midair in the fucking exam house. So I'm going to download the app. And um, I'm also feeling quite anxious right now. It's a good thing. I... It's weird that, you know, I am happy. I'm glad that I'm not glad. <laughs> Okay, chemistry section mother section zero. Laboratory safety and precautions. Very important. Now let's 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 do this, okay? We have time. And then I need to adjust my body clock, my biological clock, so that my mind is one hundred percent blasting in all directions, full function, firing all cylinders at eight thirty oh oh seconds sharp. And um that's gonna be very important. I'm doing wide angle here, cause why not? All right, here we go. Section zero, basic stuff. All right, so am I? So we got some multiple choices right here. But um, and and some long questions, but I don't know if there are any answers. <laughs> yeah, are there any answers, or am I just going completely blind here? No, wait, have I? Oh, the answers are at 17. Right, so... Oh, damn. So I gotta write these down and, and stuff. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm write these down, why not? Alright, question one. Which of the following hazard warning labels should be attached to a bottle of liquid bromine? Bromine. Whew. Oh my god. I'm already fucked. Um. Oh shit. It's not, it's not oxidizing. That's for sure. Wait, is it? It's not explosive. That's for sure. I think it's it's toxic. It's it has to be toxic, right? It's it's not three, so it's it can't be C or D. So it's either one two or one four. I don't think it, it's explosive, so I'm saying it's one four. So um. Okay, god damn it. Question one. It's one, right? There's no question number. I'm going to say, okay, section zero. I'm going to say one, four, B. All right, question mother two. I'm going to do this. Which of the following combinations would cause a striking back in a Bunsen flame? Um, <laughs> I want to know that too. When air hole is fully... Um, it's, if it's fully open, it's super strong. But would it strike back? What does it mean by striking back? Is it like when, when the, when the air is like, I think it's B. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with B because... I have a feeling. I'm just gonna do this dot. I don't care. Tetrachloromethane, aka chloroform, is a common solvent in chem chemistry laboratory. Which of the following hazard warning label should be displayed on a bottle of chloroform? It's. I think it's not corrosive. Why would it be corrosive? Is it toxic? Kinda. Is it oxidizing? Um. No. I'm going with 
two. Two only. Wait, but I guess, yeah, in, in a sense, it is toxic. So it's B again. Four. Which of the following labels should be placed in a bottle containing chloroform again? Again? Uh, one, A. I don't think it's flammable. Right. Okay, so finally, an A. Okay, one more and I'm on my own. You won't be able to see this because it's a waste of time. Which of the following combination is incorrect? Calcium, uh, underwater? Jesus, no. Potassium and oil, ethanol in a cool place, solution in a brown bottle. I mean, it doesn't have to be brown. It can be any of any color, but geez, A is definitely wrong. Calcium and water? You insane? You know what? I'm going to do another one in front of you guys because this is entertaining. Um... Which of the following chemicals may X be? So X is flammable. Bromochlorodif. Uh, I don't. I don't think this is flammable. I don't. I don't think so. Ethanol is flammable. Potassium is flammable if it touches water. So I guess two and three D. But I mean, like, in the condition that. There's water vapor in the air, which of course there is. Jeez. The hazard warning label shown below is a compressed gas cylinder. Also flammable. Um, which of the following gases may be contained in the cylinder? Hydrogen. Wait, no, wait. Is hydrogen is flammable, right? I know it's explosive. I I'm, I'm not sure. But I know that if you put fire with hydrogen, it's gonna do the pop thing. Okay, and another one. Which of the following setup can be used by the dry moist, so what the fuck? Dry moist sulfur dioxide gas. Oh, dry moist sulfur dioxide gas. I see that. So you need to dry things. Um, so which of the following? Anhydrous calcium chloride, calcium oxide, Concentrated sulfuric acid can dehydrate something. I think all three of them can. Because it becomes calcium hydroxide. And hydrous, of course. Sulfuric acid is dehydrating. So I think it's all three. I'm going to go with D. Next question. Um, which of the following statements concerning nitric acid is correct? Nitric acid can be used as a fertilizer. I don't think so. Uh, no. Nitrogen monoxide is a raw material in the manufacturing of nitric acid. I don't know. Maybe. Um, in the laboratory, concentrated nitric acid is commonly stored in brown bottles. That's very, very, very true. See, that is no way. If it's false, no way it's that specific. It's definitely C. Which of the following hazard warning labels are displayed on the reagent bottle of an acid? Corrosive, oxidizing. Corrosive and oxid. All right. This is easy. This is easy. I like. I like it. This whole chapter, it's like a breeze. Which of the following statements about acid is correct? Nitric acid is used in car batteries. I don't think so. Hydrochloric acid is produced in human stomach. That's true. Ethanoic acid is strong oxidizing oxidizing agent. Uh, I don't I don't think so. No. Um. So it's B. It's B. I mean, let's check out D. Am I right? The following has a warning. Yeah. No. Sulfuric acid is not flammable. Which of the following process can be performed by using? By normal use of some or all of the above apparatus. Okay. Refluxing a reacting mixture. Reflux. For reflux you need this. And. Uh, I think this. This and this. And, and a thermometer. Uh, separating two immiscible liquids. This, this, no, 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 not this, 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 and this. Performing a simple distillation. I think all three. 
damn, I, I'm not, I'm not good with, you know, experimental stuff. I think it's all three. I may be wrong. I'm going to go with D. All right. Which of the following hazard labels should be displayed on, uh, on methanol? Yes. Yes, it's flammable. It's alcohol. Um, I don't think it's toxic. It's corrosive. Yes. Is, or is it? I don't know, but there's no one option. It's either 1-3 or 1-2, so it's B. All right, I just corrected this, and I got, um, it's not bad. It's not that bad. For 22, I, I don't know whether it's C or A, but I thought of A, so I'm, I'm going to count that as a yes. So in total, I got um 16 out of 24 so it's not bad i got question one and two wrong though i don't know why for one and two it's not b it's c shoot so apparently three is correct oxidizing bromine is oxidizing really i guess i guess it's because bromine can turn to bromide and that is a reduction, so I guess that's oxidizing, because now bromine is an oxidizing agent. And then for this, it's not B, it's C, which is the exact opposite. If the gas is fully open and it's blue flame, but the gas supply is too weak, um, it's going to strike back like the Empire. Nice. Question 8, it's not D, it's B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's not D, it's B. Um, so two is wrong. Calcium oxide does not absorb water. I'm stupid. This will motivate me. <laughs> so it's 320 AM in the morning. I swear it's the morning. Hey, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> All right, instead of doing a Chinese past paper, I'm going to actually look at my past papers that I did a long time ago and actually uh, do some what did I do wrongs. Um, I actually did pretty well for this one. Not going to lie, pretty well. Not great, but, you know, pretty well. Um... Yeah, like I got two in here, two out of two, and then one out of two for this. Because I guess I didn't mention enough. And um, on the back, you know, not bad. Really, really not bad. Oh, zero, zero. This is bad. because, But only because I got this one right. So I got this one wrong. So if you get the first one wrong, then the... then. Everything you write down in uh, part B is automatically wrong. So there's that. Even though it's right, but it's wrong. Um, Alright. This is... um. This is a uh, true, false, not given. Um, okay, so I guess I didn't, I didn't read the passage well enough. All right. Okay, I fucked this one up pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Um. All right. Um. Uh, I I I went through a little Chinese, and I'm losing steam. I'm losing fuel. I'm tired. I'm I'm getting sad. And um, I finally remembered what I was gonna say. Um, there has been an announcement that on March 9th we are going back to school for um to to take our um to take the um the dse license and um uh it's not like all the people from our form are going there um class abc will go there at separate times at separate times so it's likely that i'm not going to be able to see mary but if I do, well, here is my stack of diaries, and I know exactly what to say. Um, but even so, then, then what, you know? 
Um, but I don't think I'll see Mary. I'll see my classmates, and, um, it's sad. Um, I'm happy that I can go to school for one, for one more day, but I, um, I read the, the, um, the announcement on the school website, and there is no mentioning of a, of a last day, an actual last day for us to go to school for, to take photos, to take our time, and you know what, right now we have the coronavirus break, fine, but no last day after April, after May, I don't know, but uh, I don't think traditionally people will not go back to school after April, I will, hopefully I do, because I need to film stuff, but I don't think people will, so, well, March 9th is the last day, and I don't think there's much I can do. Um, yeah, but, um, um, yeah, uh, I and Natalie talked, and Natalie asked me, why do I care so much about the last day? Well, even though Natalie's a fucking genius, there are things that she don't understand, she doesn't understand, and that, um, that thing is, um, she has a future. She knows where she's headed. She's staying in Hong Kong. So she shouldn't worry about this, but I should. I'm the only person who should be worried about this because after July, technically, my being, my existence in Hong Kong will die. And I'm already in that mentality now. I'm walking towards death, and I'm embracing it right now, and uh, I'm going to have an afterlife, not in Hong Kong, in the USA, making new friends, having new things, living in a new place, eating new food, doing new things, I'm, I'm going to live a different life, and, uh, and I don't have that many friends here, so once I move there, I guess I would still keep on talking to Pink, Maybe Leo, and Natalie, and Cedric, of course, and Nick, I guess, maybe sometimes. But that's the only five. Maybe Grant. Maybe Grant. I don't know. But other than that, I am... Um, I don't... I don't think, um... I will exist. Um... According to the people whom I care so much about. All the people. I don't think I will exist anymore. And um, I will disappear from their lives. So, in other words, I will die. And most importantly, uh, my memories, uh, their memories of me will die. So, I just, I, I really need uh, a good last memory, a good last impression. And the only way for me to, 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 to give people that, that good last impression is for me and for us to have a last day. She doesn't have to worry. She's staying. You know, if she wants to see someone, she can just call them. You know, she's friends with anyone. And maybe they can bump into one another somehow in some way, shape or form. And I mean, they, I mean, Natalie even planned to have a trip with Anne and Maria in like 2021 December or something. No, 20, yeah, 2021 December to like Japan or something. But I don't. So that's in. I just looked at Instagram and I saw Grant and Oliver sharing a pizza. What the fuck? They're still hanging out. I'm pissed. I'm happy for them. They're good people. But still, very obviously, my memory, uh, their memory of me will die. I wish, I wish I could have an amnesia later on and I could forget about all these great things and great people so that I will never be sad about them anymore. I just wish to have an amnesia, please. Maybe I could be, you know, maybe I could, you know, be like Pink, overdose on some sort of drug, make my brain malfunction, fry up my brain, and maybe then I'll have an amnesia and, and then I'll be cool, you know, I you know, these people are great, and I'm happy that I know these people, but I need to forget about them. Otherwise, I'd be 
I'd be sad every single day living with all all this regret and and I guess envy and so I I really need to just I really need to forget about all these good things just to make myself happier. So there's that. All right. So um it's about to be 1:20 a.m. right now. I'm 20 minutes behind my schedule. And um the heck all right and um i um emotionally was in um in a very bad place this afternoon and yesterday and um no not yesterday but but two days ago but also i guess yesterday night i mean and um it's like it's weird it's been 38 about to be 39 anyway 39 days since i've stopped going to school and for the first week i'm relaxed i'm free and then for the next week i feel emotional and then for the next week i'm fine again i'm working hard and then for the next week i I'm losing touch again. I'm being lazy again. And then somewhere after that, right now, uh, or um a few hours ago, I was um I was really emotionally distraught. And um I was losing I won't say losing sanity. I'm far from that. But uh, I I was um I was not confident. Well, I am not confident right now, but I I was not I I was um how should I put it? Um just I guess in in a, in a very uh, pessimistic state of mind. And uh, it was just a really bad feeling anyway. So um to cope with that I didn't push myself too hard to continue my revision. I watched a bunch of clips. I don't know why YouTube would suddenly recommend these clips. Maybe maybe YouTube's you know here in my voice and YouTube started to recommend these clips of like people training. You know people carrying heavy weight climbing snowy mountains and and i was like shit that's that's like messed up i i wouldn't even last a second doing that so that gave me a, a bit of motiv- a bit of motivation to uh you know to move on to 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 push myself to do to do more revision and continue fighting game face on and uh even though you know doing revision turning myself into Thomas Edison isn't as tough or as demanding as those training sessions those are hell um but still i guess there there is a challenge there there are obstacles that i need to get over uh emotional obstacles mental obstacles and um this is exactly what the exam wants me to do the exam wants to destroy me mentally mentally ruin me and uh, i'm not going to play by its rules i'm going to stand strong i'm i'm going to keep my mind and i'm going to i'm going to keep it healthy okay that's what i'm going to do Now I know that there are only 27 days left, I think or 28, I don't know. And I know that there is a possibility that I will not be able to handle this and be in time for the DSE to be prepared for the DSE. But you know what? Even if I'm going to die, at least I'm going to die trying and not die a coward. I'm going to go down 
as the man who died trying. That's better than dying a coward. So there's that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna up my revision game. I'm gonna keep my mental game strong. I'm also I'm thinking I should um you know spontaneously, I thought I should give myself a system, and that system is the reward system. So say if I had done this paper, and if uh, if I finished this task, I'm gonna treat myself with a snack or with a drink. If I had done a task. And it's done successfully. I'm gonna give myself an extra treat. Maybe I would um. Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe I would um watch an episode of anime, or um. Go out of the house, and explore the world. Maybe. Or maybe just use my phone. Just just. Extra time. I downloaded the the forest app to focus. I mean, a lot of people are using now, but um, I'm I'm going to put my game face on. I'm going to get my my six year old, um, not six year old. Uh, well, six years ago when I was about to go into secondary school or middle school, I'm I'm angry. I'm fighting hard. I'm refusing to give up. And I need to get that spirit back, and that's six years ago, and I'm sure that it's still in me. And I'm not gonna be this positive sunshine person, okay? I, I'm preparing myself for the worst case, but still, I will fight with honor, fight with style, and I will fight with every last breath I have, because this, this. Is the ultimate war. This is the fight that all my life have been building up to. It's two forty-five a.m. right now, and I'm going to bed. I went to bed almost four a.m. yesterday because I was just overworking myself. Um, but I ain't gonna do that today. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sleep earlier. Wake up earlier tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm gonna let myself sleep to twelve noon. I'm not gonna be too harsh on myself yet. Um, but um, in one condition, I don't sleep back. Cause usually I dismiss my alarm and I sleep back. That's a terrible habit. Shouldn't do that. Uh, however sleepy I am, I I shouldn't do that. I shan't. Um. Or maybe I should set two alarms. That's a good idea. Um, but another another thing is that I um, I finished completing my、uh, revision schedule for the next、um, month, and、um, I realized that I don't have enough time to finish all past papers from the year twenty twelve to twenty nineteen of. Chemistry and physics and biology, including both papers one and two, including the multiple choice questions and the long questions, and then we still have the English past papers, LS past papers,、um, Chinese past papers, and maths. Of course, I still have other maths exercises that I've yet to do. I still have some physics multiple choice exercises yet to do, and I have a shit ton of chemistry exercises yet to do. So um. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's it's a lot. It really is a lot, and um. I am,、um, I'm I'm gonna be doing three to four past papers each day, from April first. From March first, and um. I'm going to cut down my sleeping time, my eating time, my YouTube time, music time, and movies and anime time. I'm about to complete True Detective season one, the rewatch, and JoJo, and、um, very soon. Again, I don't know if I should cut off some videos, YouTube videos, or maybe I'll just do them real quick so that I can finish up all the YouTube videos. Uh, soon enough, and、uh, as far as、uh, music goes, 
after a mini album's review, a um uh another album review in March and two more. And then one more mini albums that I'm done. But maybe that's already too much. I think that's a little too much, don't you think? And then for TV reviews, I still have two more. For movie reviews, I'm planning to do two more as well. Prisoner of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. And um, and then nothing else. And then after that, I'll be uploading pre-recorded videos. School updates, vlogs, and videos of me revising. That's all. Alright, here we go. Right now, it's February 29th. A very special day indeed, because it's not the kind of day that you can get every year. Um, every four years, you get February 29th. And in some years, in some fourth years, you don't get one. Because the number of days in a year isn't exactly 365.24, I think. Isn't exactly 365.25, but uh, anyways, that's out of out of the topic. I just had lunch, and originally I was supposed to do maths at 1 p.m. and um, biology at 2 p.m. But since I need to have lunch, so I had lunch while doing the biology electives paper 2012 DSE. So I finished that already while I have lunch. Yes, I'm doing revision while I'm having lunch. And now it's um, 2 p.m., so I'm going to do maths. And uh, also, um, yesterday I struggled to fall asleep. I did eventually fall asleep at around 4.30 a.m. And then I woke up again at 10.30 a.m. automatically, not because of an alarm or anything. And I tried to sleep back, but I, I didn't feel sleepy. So at the end, around like... 12.30, I just, I gave up trying to fall back asleep, and I just went out, and um, it's weird. I don't know if it's because of stress or not, but I'm struggling to sleep. My, my sleep cycle is completely disturbed, not only on the falling asleep side, but also on the waking up side. It's, it's unpredictable at this point. Um, but uh, as long as I'm awake, I'm going to do revision as much as possible. And um, maths right now. Maths. I'm going to... So right here is the notebook. I already did a biology 2012 elective. Yes, uh, I said that already. But I didn't... I haven't corrected it yet, so I'll need to do that. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some stuff. All right, I just finished filming the the memes video like a few seconds ago, and um, I'm not in a good mood, like at all. Something happened, and uh, and you know what? I'm gonna talk about school. I'm gonna talk about it a little more. So right now it's Feb. Uh, it's March first. For fuck's sakes, it's already March. I've been telling myself I'm going to I'm going to make my conspiracy short film. Um my short film basically, my project. I I told myself, you know what? I I'm going to make this short film in 2018. And now it's already 2020 March and I haven't even casted anyone yet. Um so I'm I'm really in 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 um uh, on thin ice, but uh, I guess I, more like I'm in shit waters and um last night well this morning around 3 a.m natalie texted me apparently natalie slept at 6 a.m and and woke up at like 6 p.m so her time management is all over the place but you know she's she's doing a lot of papers and still revising really really hard um, but Natalie and Grant, uh, their relationship are continue to are continuing to break down, and um, 
it's a bad thing, I guess. I, I don't want Natalie to break up with him. Because if she does, she is then truly a, you, you know, like, she had broken up with so many guys before. She cannot break up again. She would be surpassing the entire friggin' form if she, if she does that. It's I just can't let her, okay? Um, but basically, the point of the argument is that one time, Natalie and Olivia hung out and they were revising, of course. And Kingsley showed up. Kingsley, you know, the, um, the tall, strong, muscular, handsome guy. Every girl has a crush on him. He's super smart, super strong. All the teachers love him. And uh, uh, all the girls surround him, engulf him. And she and, and, and Kingsley's like a gigantic girl magnet. Uh, he's like a harem, basically. And, <laughs> and, you know, Olivia and Natalie were doing revision together. And Olivia is Kingsley's girlfriend. Um, so it's normal that Kingsley would show up. And Grant was like, oh, shit. So Grant was worried because he he wished that Kingsley would have asked for Grant's permission in order to, I guess, interact with Natalie. I think that's a little over the top. That's a little extreme. But if I was, uh, like, if for some reason I'm a boyfriend of some girl, if hypothetically, <laughs> as if I'm gonna, I'm gonna be one, um... I'd be concerned too, um, but still, you have to admit, you, you have to be a little paranoid because Natalie, while I wouldn't say Natalie's a super loyal person, like, oh, now I have a boyfriend and I can only, you know, do it with my boyfriend. Uh, uh, I don't think... Natalie is a very rational person either, but I don't think at all that Natalie and Kingsley will hook up. I just don't think because Kingsley is the one who brought Grant and Natalie together, A, and B, Kingsley is dating Olivia, very obviously. So I don't think any of this will happen. Um, you know, again, it, it's just... A, I wouldn't say confusing, but I'd say uh, strange that anyone who hangs out with Natalie uh, automatically becomes her boyfriend or uh, or, uh, or 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 partner, uh, according to other people's point of views, because Natalie is just such a a crazy sexual exploration manipulation social power insanity master whatever and like and and anyone she's uh hung out with all the way from uh well uh, well all the people she uh, hung out with except for her ex-lovers right cedric tyrus idris kingsley and and yada 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 um Topher technically but you know it's there there's a relationship between her and Topher uh but um it's complicated um but people just automatically assume oh they're you know s sleeping together now okay uh except for me Natalie does speak to me but nobody sees me as a someone who would actually uh be aware of uh, such thing as a uh, romantic relationship, even a friendship, um, which moves over to my next point, is that um, Grant and Oliver, they're having pizza together in the middle of the coronavirus outbreak. Good for them. Um, I guess um, I'm a little pissed. 
And it's not because I want everyone to invite me to anywhere and I want to be included in every single event ever. But would it be fair and kind to at least consider that, hey, you know what, this guy, this guy exists and this guy's friendly. And here's the problem. Grant and Oliver and I were close, unlike me and, you know, like, Ernest or Kingsley like like I'm rather closer to Grant and Oliver but they never just consider me as a person who exists and so whenever they remember that I exist they are nice to me they're really friggin nice which is awesome awesome okay remind you awesome whenever I'm in school and they see that I'm walking around and they realize that oh hey there is a human entity being organism moving their muscles just walking around like they would they would realize oh yeah this guy exists so i'm gonna be nice to him because he never really did anything that bad and neither am i a boring person i'm very much not a boring person but um people are nice to me but then when i'm not when i'm not around people just forget about me i don't exist and um end of story uh, that is why i'm really really friggin certain that after this school life when i move over to the usa um they won't really remember me other than i guess natalie leo pink and cedric most definitely cedric cedric left the entire friggin school and he still remembers me i still talk to him like on the weekly and um you know what happened to cedric is terrible um like my life is terrible but i wouldn't say it's as bad as cedric's like i i actually sympathize with cedric same for me um after cedric had left the school nobody talked about him anymore nobody Nobody went, oh, I miss Cedric. Like, like nobody remembered him. He, he's gone. He's disappeared. Um, which is incredibly depressing, you know, to have memories of yourself completely vaporized in thin air. But I guess that's what happened to him. And, and if he came back, of course, there would be friends. He has a girlfriend, yes. So at least that's better than my life. But still, um, Cedric's lost the game. I'm still playing it, kind of, but it's ending, and it it may, I'm probably losing too, yeah, but Cedric's already lost, he quit the game, and I, it's sad, yeah, it's sad how some people who are less powerful socially, will be so easily forgotten, will be so easily regarded as someone who's not important. And um, that's just how the social hierarchy works. And it's sad. It's, it's a truly messed up system. But uh, that's how society works. And it's just... Ah, I can't do anything about it. I guess um, Leo and Pink did consider inviting me to a to a, to to have dessert together, um, which is incredibly awesome. But I declined because I was busy and I was um, I was tired. I just came back home from another place, and that was a few weeks ago. But that was great. Leo and Pink were two of the few people uh, who who actually remember me, even when they don't see me, uh, which is insane. Um, but uh, yeah, there's that. Um, you know, I'm starting to think it's because I, I speak to them a lot, like through WhatsApp and stuff. So maybe if I speak to Grant a lot, more in whatsapp it would be 
you know, they would actually remember me. But it's not like I didn't speak to them at all. I did speak to Oliver and Ernest through Instagram DMs for a couple times during the break. Now we're already at 40 days. Um, but um, yeah, that's unfortunate. So um, yeah, March, March video. Okay, right. Oh, it's already March 2nd. Great. So um, well, technically today, but I'll still call it tomorrow. Uh, apparently, I just uh, learned the news that there would be a Chinese writing exam mock. And I have to wake up really early again tomorrow and be sleep deprived. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be terrible. It's going to suck ass. So, uh, there's that. Also, I just came back home and took a shower. And, um, I'm, I'm three hours behind schedule because I didn't expect, uh, me to stay in that place for that long time. And it's not even my fault. Uh, but, um, there's that. And my life. Okay, I just finished some chemistry past papers for section one, all the multiple choice questions, not counting the long questions. And now it's already about to be 2.20 a.m. And according to schedule, I still need to do some physics, especially for uh, the calculations involving um, uh, this one, circular motion and gravity. So I'm going to do a couple of these questions and then afterwards I'm gonna go look at my Chinese writing wherever it is and uh, look at my Chinese writings and I'm gonna check what mistakes I make and how should I improve upon my Chinese writing skills so that I will not completely die tomorrow yay it's over 3 a.m. now 305 actually I'm going to bed um I don't know. Okay, so my friend told me to wake up at 8.30 to comment my name in the Google Classroom and to sleep back. Problem is, A, I may not be able to sleep back. B, this is tedious. So I'm going to try to not do that. Maybe it's still going to work. I don't know. But I guess another thing is um, I have been um, just going through all of these all of the uh, all of these and also all of these damn all right and um i am um, i can find some of my chinese writings for some reason i don't know where it's gone it's just gone somewhere in this world no way is it really gone so i need to look harder but it's too late it's already 3 a.m so i gotta sleep